Okay, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining our webinar on setting up Microsoft Teams to work with customer feedback. My name is Evan Marks. Um, I am the senior partner success person for Smileback in ConnectWise. I've been at Smileback since forever. I recognize a lot of your names um, from talking to you about you know all sorts of different things over the years. And if you haven't spoken to me before, basically my job is to help you get the most out of using Smileback, help share information about what Smileback can do for our partners, um, and you know answer your questions. And I've got colleagues who help me. Uh, you may have spoken to Yuria. You may have spoken to some of my other colleagues who've worked on the help desk over the years. So. In this webinar, then, we're going to be taking another look at the Smileback Microsoft Teams integration. This has been around for a while, but uh, we've gone through a few different versions of it. We've made improvements and additions. Uh, and in many cases, those have been inspired by things that people have asked us, you know, partners who've used it and said, I oh, wouldn't it be better if it could do X. And I will be covering the absolute basics of this in case there's anyone watching who's never used this before. I'm guessing if you, you've joined the webinar, you've maybe not used it yet, or you've maybe just not used it to its fullest potential yet. So I will go over the basics. I won't take too long. So if we take a look at the agenda then, oh, that's me. <laughs> um, we're going to cover the why. We're going to cover how to use it in a very simple sense and then getting a little bit more sophisticated. I'll then give you a look at how it actually looks inside Teams itself and how you can set it up. Um, I'll cover a couple of common issues that tend to come up with, with Teams connector setup. There'll be time for questions and I'll also be talking about some of the resources that we have to help you. So you should see in your GoToWebinar panel, there is a questions option uh good morning is this where the questions go yes this is where the questions go <laughs> thank you very much uh trap for asking me that so yeah uh you can send me in questions anytime uh i will probably end up answering some of them as we go along through the webinar but definitely i will make time at the end to get to them so let's crack on so why use your smile back feedback in teams and actually someone asked me this the other day and it's a really good question you know he asked we are already working in connectwise manage or you might be working in autotask or zendesk on these tickets so you know why do i need to put the reviews into teams and the reason i would say is that teams gives you extra options when it comes to visibility some people like to do the discussion and the back and forth directly in Teams. Actually, on my team, um, we like to do that. But then again, you know, the smile back support desk is probably a lot smaller than, than any of yours. And the volume of tickets is a lot smaller than any of yours. So some people do like to work directly in Teams. But even if you're keeping all of the notes about ticket resolution, you know, troubleshooting, communication, um, directly inside ConnectWise Manage, or in Autotask, Teams can still have a really good role to play. And as I said, the main thing for that is visibility. Because of course, inside the help desk software, it's on a really on a ticket by ticket basis, right? You you get the ticket in, there's a summary of the problem, you know, the communication with the contact is there, your notes are in there. And then if you're using Smileback and you set up our automations, uh, to send the reviews back to the original ticket, then the review can also live in there. But what's nice about Teams is that you can turn the focus onto the feedback itself. And instead, or not instead of, but along with having the full in-depth details of the tickets by ticket, you can put all of your feedback into a stream in Teams where, where everyone can see it or not everyone can see it, we'll, we'll go through that. Um, so that can be a really great way of keeping feedback front and center uh, in your team's attention, right? Keep your team engaged with feedback, 
um, focused on feedback and, and on your customers and their needs. Uh, and you can, you know, you can share, uh, sharing the wins together. You can collaborate on the, the not so good feedback together. And when we first launched the Teams integration, and there is a Slack one as well, but um, I know that the vast majority of our partners use Teams, so that's why I'm focusing on it. We made it very simple. You know, we, we started with the simplest thing that we could possibly release as a working integration, which was when you get a review, put the review in Teams. And it all went in one place. And you can still do that. Uh, and there's still value in doing that. In fact, we do that in our own Teams, um, Smileback Teams channel, because as I say, you know, our feedback volume is quite low compared to a, 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 an MSP. But what's really nice about it, and um, since we made, you know, the updates and, and people were asking for this, uh, and we were also thinking it was a good idea, is you can organize in different ways depending on the type of feedback. So you can start to create channels which are have specific uses depending on the feedback that you're getting. And I'm going to go into the details of how to set that up in a minute, but just to cover off the basics of how you would get started in the first place, um, you add the Smileback integration for the Teams App Store. So Donna, if you could put in the link to the um, Help Center article in the chat, that'd be great. But basically, if you're a Smileback admin and you have the right permissions in Teams, you go to the App Store in Teams, you find Smileback, you add it to your team, and then from inside that, you can start a setup process where you can um, authenticate it and, and give, you know, Smileback permission to post things in, in the channel you've chosen. But then the really crucial thing of what I've been talking about is that you don't just have to do this once, you can do this multiple times. And we have filter options. So as we're going to see, you can send different types of feedback to different places. And if you're watching live, the chat window now has a link to the setup instructions. Um, if you're watching this on the video, we should have this down in the video um, description or comments underneath. So, you know, what does that mean? I keep saying, you know, you can organize in these ways, you can have different channels for different uses. What actually does that mean? Um, so there's a huge number of, I don't know how many possible combinations, it, it, you know, it might be almost an infinite amount of combinations, um, but I'm just going to look at a few. So three common examples, you know, these things I keep suggesting to people, these are things we've got in our most recently published guide for using Teams, that's something on our content hub, what I call the good news channel, uh, the escalation channel, and a marketing update. So good news is putting all of your positive feedback or maybe your positive feedback that also has comments into one channel uh, that everyone can see. So giving your team a morale boost basically by you know having one central place where they can just see a nice stream that's constantly automatically updated of the good things that customers are saying you know about your company and about the, the techs or other staff that they're working with and be, the nice thing about teams of course is because it's a you know a messaging collaboration tool is you can write comments under them you know you can add the person say hey well done high five you know share a gif put a heart reaction on it um, and just you know kind of spread those good vibes and that good morale and that can be a really important thing for team building uh, you know especially in as people are increasingly in kind of remote workplaces um, and you know it's that little bit of gratitude um, for your staff when you know they're probably staring at a screen all day so that's a good morale booster you then got what I call escalation so let's imagine in teams um, as you know or probably know you can set up more than one Team inside Microsoft Teams. So let's say you have a management one and there are channels there that only you know management can see, or maybe you have it split up on like a geographic basis, function basis. But um, what you can do is the kind of the opposite of the good news channel is you can create a channel where you only put bad things, you know, the things that people need to take action on. So let's say you've got one where you have the um, 
you know, the kind of account managers, the service desk leaders, uh, and the overall executives, um, they can keep a close eye on anything where customers aren't happy this way. Uh, and again, people can ask for more information if you, you know, in the threads underneath, if you are happy doing our teams, again, that's actually what we do. You know, we get a bad review in, um, in Smileback's case, it's actually there for the whole team to see. And usually I, as the person responsible, I will write underneath, okay, I'm on this. Uh, here's what happened to tickets so far. You know, I'm talking to them now. Once I've spoken to the customer, here's the update, you know, uh, they're unhappy about this. So I'm going to do X or actually this was a misunderstanding and now they're happy, you know, whatever it is. Then another thing to think about is engaging people in the company who aren't on the help desk. And this is another good use of teams because let's say, for example, you're marketing people, they might not necessarily be working in, uh, ConnectWise Manage or in Autotask, or they might not be in there very often. Uh, and even if they are, they're probably not really ever looking at service boards and service tickets. So one of the things you can do with Smileback is you can give happy customers the possibility or the option uh, to provide, to say they're happy for you to use their review uh, and their comments in marketing. And that only is for people who are happy, as I say. So what you could do with that is you could send those ones direct into a channel for your marketing team. So they don't need to see everything. They don't need to get involved in the details of, of every single ticket. But when you've got a really happy person who's written a nice comment and they're happy for you to share that, then you can share it with the most relevant people who can go ahead and uh, take it and use it on social media or follow up with them for a testimonial for the website, for example. So that's just a few examples. Um, and we go into real depth of this in our latest guide. So Donna, if you could put in the chat, the, um, content hub guides, the blog.smileback.com guides, uh, for this. And we have, we, we have this all laid out in detail. Another thing to think about is, uh, just one more ad is, you know, if you're using both CSAT, the customer satisfaction survey, the one with the three faces that goes on your service tickets and MPS net promoter score, you know, the one with the zero to 10. How likely are you to recommend us that you send out periodically? Uh, you can put those together in teams or you could separate them. So that could be another use, you know, a CSAT channel and an MPS channel. And yeah, if you look in the chat now, we've got a link to that guide. Again, if you're watching a recording, we'll find a way of sharing it with or underneath the video. So let's move away from the slides for a bit. I'm just going to stop. Um, my screen sharing for a second just while I bring up Teams itself and I'll, I'll show you how this looks in there. Okay, so you now, now you should be able to see uh, inside of Microsoft Teams. And what I've done here is I've set up a couple of kind of test channels and I created some reports, uh, some reviews already. So here we are looking at my team's demo positives channel. So this is what I was talking about with creating a channel that only has the good reviews in. And then I've got one for the neutrals and negatives. So as you can see, we've separated out automatically or by setting this up once, it's then running automatically that the positive reviews go to one place and the neutral and negative ones go to another place in Teams. Um, and just to talk a bit about what's in that. You can see various details. You can hide these. Uh, I wish I'd hidden my email address, but never mind. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to put all the details in there. You could just do the review uh, and the comment. Uh, people can react to it if that's something that you do. You know, people can reply underneath in Teams. And you'll notice there's these two buttons here, view and smile back and view in Zendesk in our case, uh, we're still, we're still getting, getting integrated into ConnectWise. So we're, we're actually still on our old Zendesk. Um, but you know, you'll have view and ConnectWise, manage view and auto task here. So you can go back to the original ticket. So, you know, if you are worried about, well, I, you know, I want to kind of keep things on the tickets. Don't worry. This actually makes it very easy for you to jump back to that ticket and, you know, 
carry on your work in the notes or in the, um, the emails in there. And I won't walk you through the setup from the very beginning, uh, but what I'll do is I'll go into these ones that I already set up the connector for and I can show you what it looks like. So if I go um, into the kind of expanded menu with those three dots and click on connectors, Teams is now going to load up uh, the list of connectors. So you can see their smile back already appears. I mean, I already added it, of course. But if I go to the ones uh, that were configured, oh yeah, I removed it, of course I did. So actually, yeah, I will show you from the beginning. So yeah, we've got smile back here. You click on configure. And then if you're doing this for the first time, you'll see a login page here. Uh, but of course I already logged in yesterday. Um, so yeah, once you've logged in, you'll get taken to this part. And this is where the connector is set up. So the way it's, if you just left it as it is right now, this will send every review to this channel. And that's fine if you want to do that. Um, in fact, it's very easy if you want to do that because really all you have to think about is do I want to maybe filter out some of the details or not? And then you can click save. But let's, for example, you know, go with my example, the good news one. We only want to share the positive ones. You click on rating, you click on positive. I mean, it's very, it's very logical. It works much the same way as the automation setup inside Smileback itself. So if you've ever set up, you know, um, filtered automation rules, you'll be familiar with this. And if you want to go a bit further, let's say we only want the ones where they actually wrote something, you would toggle that on below. And you have similar options for MPS. And as I said, you know, if you want to only do MPS or only CSAT in this channel, again, you can do that very easily. And you know, if you're going to set up more than one, you're going to set it up in different teams or different channels. You just keep doing the same process, you know, add the connector to the team through that team's app store that's there at the bottom left and then going in to those individual channels and configuring the connector that way. You can also remove them. You can actually see this message here. I removed this because once I'd created my demo ones, I didn't want it to keep running. So you can go back with that same thing and you can either update it or, or remove it. Now, that's all pretty simple in theory. There are a couple of pitfalls though that I want to talk about. Um, so I'm just gonna go back over to my slides. Um, some things to watch out for then. One is permissions. You'll need to be a Smileback account admin, admin to do this. You'll also need to have uh, permissions for teams. So they have like owners and admins in teams. So you, you'll need the permissions to add, um, to either add the connector or you'll need to ask someone to do it for you. So um, I got permission, you know, when we joined ConnectWise, I said, hey, we need to bring this thing over that we used to do in our Slack when we ran our own stuff. Um, so someone added it for me to our options and ConnectWise, and then they gave me the permissions just over the Smileback team. To add that. Another thing, and this is all detailed in that article we already shared, the, um, the guide saying it's up, side loading, you need to enable side loading of apps or connectors and teams. And one thing I've noticed is that hidden channels seem to be an issue uh, when it comes to configuring connectors. Um, I don't know if it's definitely never working, but it's come up a few times from partners. So if you are thinking, well, I'd like to put some of these in a place that only some people can see. Oh, sorry. I hear that my screen sharing is not working. Let me just stop that and I'll start again for you. Hopefully that's uh, a better view now. I don't know if you just want to message me and let me know if that's working better. Um, yeah, so hidden channels can be an issue. So if you want to make a kind of a, a place where only some people can see it, you know, like I said about maybe having you know, managers having that view of the, the negative neutral reviews, um, you can create another team in Teams. So you might have just one for the whole company 
Um, but I know in a lot of companies, you might already have, you know, different teams to, to provide some more control over visibility and permissions for who can see what in, inside Microsoft Teams. So I would use that instead of a hidden channel. I would just make a, another team specifically for those people, then add the Smileback integration to that. So I appreciate that's probably a lot of detail. Um, we've now got plenty of time for questions. Of course, you know, we've shared those uh, guide and help center article already in chats, um, which have more details. Um, and actually Donna, if you could add to the chat now, the Calendly link, so you can use that to book a call with me or my colleague, Yuria. Uh, you know, if you want to do this live, uh, as it's saying up live on your side with us, or you just have some questions, you can book a call with us. Um, but we've got time for questions now as well. So if you want to go ahead and use the questions option in your go to webinar panel. Don't be shy. <laughs> or you can always send us questions later. And if you ever have an issue about, you know, you're saying open, it's not working or anything else to do with Smileback, uh, help at smileback.com. Easy to remember, help at smileback.com. That's our main help desk. And you can write in with specific questions or if you just want to drop a message saying, hey, I need, you know, uh, I need a bit more explanation. I'd like to book book a call you know you can do that there um i haven't had any questions yet so if you want to ask a question please please go ahead and do it now uh, otherwise i will uh move on to one last thing okay so one other thing then that i wanted to mention before we finish is that um we have this thing called our public roadmap and I'm just sharing that on the screen now. You should be able to see it. And I'm also just putting the URL. Don has already put the URL in the chat. Um, yes, yeah, smileback.canny.io. This is our public roadmap. You can come here. Uh, you can see what we're working on currently. So as you can see, we've got our project surveys that's going to be coming up um, and a, a smaller improvement. Archive deleted reviews. We put not actually every every single thing here, you know, we're always making kind of small, you know, uh, improvements, bug fixes, um, things like that. But, but any kind of really like, you know, visible change that you will actually see and, and use and notice we have in here. And not only can we put stuff in here and sort of show it out to the world, but you can come and give us ideas. So you see this give feedback, new features, um, part at the top of the page there you can go and add something new there, or you can look through what's already here. And if you see something, you know, if you're interested in something and someone has already added it, you can upvote it. Um, you can also click onto an individual item and, you know, you can write comments. Maybe you want to add a bit more detail of how you would do something, or you've got a kind of a related uh, twist on something that's already there. You can come and write a comment. So please do make use of that because we genuinely use this. You know, we we um, we look at this every week. You, as I say, there are things we've done with this Teams integration, for example, that were suggested by people who were using it. Uh, there are many other things that we've implemented or even added as new features that were suggestions. Um, of course, it's always a balance of time and uh, and um, focus, but you know, we really value the, the feedback we get from our partners. Looks like we have a question. Okay, great. So is it correct to assume that once a connector is in place, review should start to come in and is there a delay compared to the portal? Yeah, there is a short delay. Uh, when a new review comes into Smileback, it will show up immediately inside Smileback itself. So the reviews page, you know, app smileback.io we actually still consider it open uh, meaning that it can still be changed by the person who left it um, the, the reason for that is you know sometimes people misclick um, sometimes people you know click red and they think oh I'm not really red it's more of a yellow and they change it so we, we leave a bit of time so that 
um, if people change it, we haven't already done the automations, haven't already done teams. So there is a delay, it's about 15 minutes, um, but it will then automatically show up in, in teams provided everything is working. If you set this up, you've got reviews coming in, they're still not showing up. Make sure that um, your Smileback account is properly connected to your help desk. Because if reviews are coming in with and they're missing the, the ticket details, which means that the API connection isn't working, like that will mean that the Teams Connect can't run, for example. So that's one thing to look at. And if you're having trouble with this now, please you know, go ahead and drop us an email. Like I say, help at smileback.com um, because I can then get into the full details with you. Um, I have a setup, I've seen your reviews of Smileback, not, not Teams. Yeah, and as you say, yeah, so please do go ahead and open a ticket with us. Okay, I think that's it then. If you think of a question later, just, you know, send us an email, have a look at the links we shared. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for joining. Um, and I look forward to speaking to you again in the future. We have, you know, more, we have a webinar usually every other month now. We publish more content kind of every month. We're always making improvements and emailing about them. So just look out for news from us. Um, and yeah, have a great rest of your day, everyone. Thank you.